Uno here with me, helping me do the news. Anybody know why she's named Uno? All right, here we go. So um, I've got a joke for you, and then we'll do where is Sir Nevelyn, and then it'll be Mr. Wolf. All right, so since it's been so rainy lately, I thought I'd come up with a weather joke. Um, so here is your weather joke for the day. Um, what did one raindrop say to the other? Two's company, three's a cloud. That's not a very good joke. Sorry. All right, here we go. Where's Sir Nevelyn? If you look, I see Sir Nevelyn's hand and some sort of white building back there. So not a whole lot to go off of right here. We may have to go to the next one. All right. Ooh, that's a good clue. I see it looks like Austin, the Austin City logo back there. Some grass, some concrete, some glass doors. I bet some of you know where this is right now. All right, let's go to the next one. Hmm, doesn't help much. I don't see a whole lot more than that one. Oh, I do see some letters back there, though. All right, make your guesses. Let's see what we've got. Here we go. Oh, it's the new community rec center. I bet I bet Sir Evelyn used to go there to work out because he's a pretty strong dude. So probably not right now, though. All right, hopefully everybody's doing good. Hopefully you guessed where Sir Evelyn was and have a great week, Knights. Welcome everyone to another great week here at Nevlin Elementary School's Distance Learning. I'm here once again from my home office uh, giving you guys your Nevlin news this week. I'm going to start off by of course starting with our celebrations, our student birthdays. We have a couple students here uh, that have birthdays this week so we want to give a big shout out. Happy birthday to Courtney Bucknell, to Emily Johnson, Corbin Ruder, Simon Pischke, and Amia Chandy. Happy birthday nights. We hope you guys have a great celebration with your families, um, even with distance learning. For our home side activity this week, um, I have an activity for you guys to work with adults about a learning timeline. To kind of give you an, ex an example of what a learning timeline, I want to introduce you to someone, uh, part of our family. This is Oh, here she is. This is Lizzie. And Lizzie is our little puppy here. She's about four years old. And uh, she just got a haircut this past week. So she has a nice new haircut. She doesn't look all furry and fuzzy everywhere. Uh, so she's only about four years old. And uh, she has learned a lot in the past four years. And so, uh, for an example of a learning timeline, I wanted to give you just a quick example of some things that Lizzie's learned over the past four years as a little puppy here. When, she, when we first got her four years ago, you know, she couldn't even, uh, she wasn't even potty trained. So that was something that was maybe difficult for her to do. It was to learn how to go potty in the right places and not in the wrong places, like in the carpet on the floor and things like that. And she's learned to uh, uh, do, uh, do really well when taking baths and getting her hair cut. She didn't like that at first, but over time, that was another thing that she learned. And she continues to learn different things. Uh, she continues to learn how to maybe control herself from maybe barking too much when the neighbor dogs are outside. Um, she's also learned uh, some other fun little tricks, uh, when, uh, especially when there's things like uh, going on a walk. She really loves going on walks. Yeah, yeah. See how she excited she gets? So those are some things that she's learned over time in her four years as a little puppy. So an activity I want you to do as an, with an adult is to think about things that you've done and, and learned to do since you were a baby, maybe when in preschool, maybe in kindergarten and your elementary years. Think about what was hard to do and then what turned easy to do. And uh, with the adult that you're working with, maybe they can share some stories of things that they learned to do when they were really young too and start making a timeline of things that they learned. You can make the timeline on paper and draw a line and you can write things like baby and preschool and kindergarten, elementary school, and you can be writing these things in, uh, on a line or you can just talk about it as well. So something, an activity for you to do at home with adults. Of course, the goal for our home side activities is always to give families an opportunity to build relationships through conversations at home. Next week on Monday is Memorial Day. 
um, which is uh, May 25th this year. Memorial Day is always the last Monday of May, and it commemorates those who've died in the military service for our country. And uh, so we will not be having uh, distance learning on Memorial Day. That is a no school day. So remember that and maybe jot that down on your calendar that uh, you wouldn't be expecting any phone calls from your teachers and there won't be a morning message from your teachers that day as well. So we would encourage you all to spend the day with your family thinking about and remembering um, any uh, uh, family members or friends that, uh, who died in the military service for our country that day. Remember nights, our goal here at Nevlin Elementary School is to always be following our code of honor, to be respectful, to be responsible, and be safe in everything that we do at school and at home. Remember, be a knight and do what's right.